Hey everyone, it's Lori from Scraps by Sissy. Happy Thursday! <laughs> Are you ready for some shenanigans? I have to tell you, this is going to be a hot mess today. So, I should say I'm going to warn you that it's going to be a hot mess. Let's see, I'm all crooked here. I have three little puppies here in the, in the office, the studio. Chloe, don't. Um, so, like I said, I have no idea what's going to happen. Um, <laughs> I think I'm ready for the, for today's video, but yeah, you just never know with me. Um, okay, there's my video. Make sure I can see everything. Okay, there. All right. Uh, make sure it's going. Is this moving? No, it's not moving. Come on. It says I'm live on my video. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So, <laughs> um, yeah, it's not raining here today. I am so excited about that. We've had so much rain and snow in the North State. Um, we're going to grow webbing between our toes, I'm sure, before this season is over. But that's okay. We're in a drought, right? So, there you go. Good morning, Beth. How are you? Um, I'm hoping this goes very smoothly today, but you never know with me, especially since I haven't been on in a couple of weeks. So we're playing with this gorgeous kit. Is that box not beautiful? Ugh. Um, and it came with this beautiful gold tissue paper. And here's a kind of a sneak peek of next month's kit. There's supposed to be some foiling on these die kits. And there's also going to be um, an organizer to fit inside any of your paper pumpkin boxes to store your ink spots. So that's going to be a fun little a fun little kit. Oh, and here we are for today. Okay, let's put that aside. We don't need that any longer. So this kit makes nine cards. Of course, I didn't get any of the regular ones done. It's been kind of a hot mess around here, you know, so what else is new? So I'll show you the two stamp sets. This is the one that came with the kit. And we're actually going to use both of them. Here is the anniversary uh, stamp set. Love, 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 love that Easter lily image. Um, here I was getting ready to make another alternate. Okay, we need those for my stash. Came with these little embossed flower pots, which I don't know why I didn't use those. These beautiful coordinating envelopes. Uh, some gold die cuts, um, some mint macaron um, die cuts, which that's one of the colors that's retiring. So if you, if that's one of your favorites, get all the refills and what have you now. And then some more die cuts here. So yeah, very cute kit. Like I said, I haven't really played with it much except to get my initial, um, alternates. Uh, when I do sit down to really start making these, I want to make this kind of a glass, uh, what do they call it? Um, stained glass window. Uh, so yeah, there's that. And then there's this cute little bookshelf image that one of the flower pots sits here with the leaves going up. So it'll be a fun one to play with, with the regular items in the kit. Oh, and the ink spot, which I don't have in here, is um, polished pink, which is one of the outgoing in colors. So let's start by looking at my scrapbook layout that I created. Oops. What did I do? There we go. I thought I lost my feed on my um, video. This is not playing. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So here is my scrapbook layout. It's kind of simple. Um, I really wasn't sure what to do with it, so I decided to, I started with, um, the base layer in a, um, <laughs> shaded spruce. That's the one, 12 by 12. Then I took a 12 by 12 basic white and I cut that down and I added some orchid oasis, some polished pink, and then I made my own designer series paper here. Like I said, it's very simple. I had to use the Easter Lily, so I uh, stamped the pot and I fussy cut the um, the Easter Lilies. 
orig originally in my mind, this was going to be where I had a uh, journaling tag going, and then for whatever reason, that thought went away as quick as I got it, put the bow in, so I think I'll just, um, see this isn't all the way down, I'll put one in here. But then I just stamped Happy Easter. One of the things that came to mind when I was creating this image were all the Easter pictures from when I was a kid and wearing those cute little frou-frou dresses, you know, the ones that had all the lace and the pedophore things, you know, that the made the little dresses go way out. Yeah, I thought that'd be cute for this because I know a couple of them were pink. Had the little Easter bonnet, the whole Marianne. So yeah, there's my layout, and I have all of the measurements on today's blog post. Now here's the two cards we're going to create. Here's the first one. In fact, my team saw this already. And we're using a piece of the, um, what is that? It's a retiring designer series paper. Ugh, it's, um... I'm drawing a complete blank, so it'll be in the description. Anyway, I'm going to make this in two different colors because this this piece of designer series paper does the pink, the purple, pinks, the blue, the green, and then it goes into yellow and melon mambo. And my little butterfly is from the Butterfly Brilliant dies. And this is retiring, so if this is something that's been on your list and you haven't gotten, you better get it. This is one I'm going to keep because I love the butterfly dies. It, um, it's a background stamp. And these are the brilliant wings. And then on the inside, we're actually using a stamp set from a prior paper pumpkin. And I'll show you that here in a minute. And then here is the second card we're going to create using that Easter lily and a piece of the Hello Irresistible Designer Series paper. And this image here, I should say sentiment, is from the Art Gallery stamp set. I think the stamp set is going forward, um, but the dies are going to be retiring. And we're going to be masking that. Then here is the inside. And of course, my envelope. So let's get started. Let's see, we'll start with this one first. And I love how out of one sheet of paper, you can get a completely different look with the different colors that has that's in that paper itself. And this is made with the shimmery white. I couldn't find this. I think this might be retiring too. So if you like it, I would definitely, I didn't get all the die pieces out. I would definitely get it. We're going to uh, color that, even though it's a shimmer white, I'm going to add even more shimmer to it with some Wink of Stella. And this makes it really shimmer. And I'll show you here. The pictures don't do it justice. I think I need to take some photography lessons. Um, oh, and you can see here's my host code. This is open right now. If you place an order using that host code, I'm going to send out a pack of handmade cards uh, as a thank you gift to you. And like I said, there's so many things, so many colors retiring. The list is long, so don't wait on getting things. Let's see, here we go. I'll show you how this brings out the shimmer. There's another piece underneath there. There we go. So let's see. See that shimmer on there? It the Wink of Stella really makes the shimmery white stand out. It's one of my favorite ways to use that paper. Okay, so this is just really simple. We're just gonna adhere the paper together. Let's see. Um, I don't have my. We'll just use this one. Okay. I was looking for my regular stamp and seal, but I guess I borrowed it and never put it back in my drawer. That's all right. Okay, so there's that yellow, the melon mambo, and I think that's Blushing Bride in the middle. So we'll attach that. And that's just going to go onto the card front. 
And when you're using the Stamp and Seal Plus, you want to use a light hand because many times it will catch the cardstock and let's, let's put the sunshine up and tear the cardstock. Let's see, here we go. There. Now, this is the inside layer. Let's go ahead and lay that on the inside. Probably going to be sorry I did that. We're going to do that anyway. And here is my piece that I want to trim and put at the bottom. I'm just going to use our snips. And I should have cut it with my trimmer, but that's okay. That's what snips are for. Okay, let's straighten that out just a little bit. Yeah, my head's kind of buzzing with all of the stuff for the retirement list and things we saw in the new catalog. Oh, it's such a busy time in Stampin' Up! world. I told Larry, I said, you know, you really have to just leave me be for a little while so that I can digest all of what's going on with the catalogs. Okay. And yes, there were some colors that I was surprised are going away. I knew, I had a feeling Mango Melody was going to be leaving us. But I didn't expect Bermuda Bay to leave. That's okay. The colors that came in are absolutely beautiful. Okay, this is one way to use up your designer series paper. Decorating your envelope. And I'll, the one on the piece that I use on the other card was too short but I saw somebody else use it with only a partial at the edge of the envelope and I thought that looked pretty good okay so now we're going to stamp the sentiment and we're going to punch using the everlasting is it what's that no the lasting oh my mind is just gone. Um, yeah, that punch, that is carrying forward. And I do need a scrap of white. I thought I had that in here, but apparently not. Hang tight. Let me go grab a scrap. And it's opening day of baseball. Woohoo! <laughs> We're going to stamp on this and we're going to use Melon Mambo to coordinate with the rest of the card. And we're going to stamp, if I can get this open, there we go, let's see, we want this one here for the front. And since it's a photopolymer, I'm going to bring out, no I'm not, I borrowed that too. Okay. I thought I had my stamp and pierce mat here, but apparently that is MIA also. Okay, so it's all right. That's the way life goes. I told you it's going to be a mess around here. I'm a hot mess today. Okay, so here's to another year of growth. We'll just punch this out. You can see I re-inked it yesterday. Okay. Now, before we attach that on the card front, I want to add some more of the adhesive on the back. And I'm going to add a piece of the white glitter ribbon, which sadly is retiring. Ugh, I love this ribbon. Okay, so I'm just going to do the zigzag effect and lay that into the adhesive. There we go. And trim that. Okay, we'll add some dimensionals. The bigger ones out of my stash. Add those. Then we'll add it to the card front. This guy's done. Let's put him away. And we'll put him, let's put him down here in the corner. I was going to put the pink up at the top. I guess not. All right. There we go. We'll put him there. Now I'm going to add some mini glue dots to this guy. 
and have him kind of flying away. I was looking for a stamp that's the sentiment that said something about change, but I never did find one. So I thought the tent, the growth was a good one in lieu of. Okay, let's put him going this way. Okay, and we're going to use the glossy dots. Did I bring those out already? Nope. Did I put them in my bag? Oh, yes, I did. These are carrying forward, which I'm happy because I love the fact that you've got multiple colors in there and they just work on everything. So we'll put those here. And then, you know what? I'm going to add some yellow in here. Let's put one here. And we'll put these down here. Looks like so card front is done. Isn't that pretty? So bright and cheery. And then on the inside, I'll show you the kit that this one came from. I have it in my stash. It was from last April, and it was the Change is Beautiful, which we're in the midst of change right now. We have to remember this is a beautiful thing. <laughs> uh, I know when the new catalog comes out, some people have a tough time with it when they see some of their favorites retiring, but once we get to playing with the new product, we forget all about the things that we were just sad about. Okay, so this sentiment, put this away, says, may this new season hold wonderful experiences. And I thought that was perfect for this. So we're just going to stamp him right down here at the bottom. There we go. And our card is done. Don't you love quick and easy cards? I do, as you can tell. <laughs> All right, card number one is done. Let's set him aside. Now we'll work on card number two. And this is using one of the returning colors, uh, Pretty Peacock, one of my favorites, and I'm very excited about it. Uh, let me see, let's put this away too. Okay, set that aside. This is done. Let me grab my little card packet. And I am using the contour scallop dies for our background there. This is one of the little sentiment um, um, <laughs> poof, it's gone. One of the sentiment uh, pieces from the kit. I forgot to use that before. Let's move this out of the way. <laughs> I told you. Hang on a second. Uh, drink of water. Dry throat. That's one thing I'm not looking forward to with spring. <coughs> Excuse me, is my allergies. They're going to start coming back with a vengeance this year, I'm sure. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, poor Charlie was in here yesterday with his little runny nose. He has allergies just like his Nana. Okay, I'm going to add some adhesive to this piece of designer series paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of linen thread and I'm going to tuck it in and wrap it around twice. Just like so. Kind of pull that a little bit tighter. There we go. Nope. There. <coughs> Excuse me. Goodness gracious. Okay. Let's do this again. Okay. Just tuck that in. There we go. And we'll trim that and we'll add him to the card front just like so all right now let's go ahead and stamp him and we're gonna uh you know what first let's do this let me get out my soft suede this way i can judge where we're gonna put the easter lily 
Now, soft suede, sadly, is going away. That one was a shocker. Okay, there we go. There's our pot. We're also going to, where's my little piece? we got to stamp it and fussy cut it. So I'm going to stamp him there. And then I wanted to add some of these polka dots to it. Ugh, my desk is a mess. And we're going to use this piece right here. There. Okay. Oops. Almost made a mistake there. Okay. And I'm just going to come through here and add the polka dots. Okay. And... We're gonna, I don't like that one. Let's do it again. Okay. That's why I have extra paper. Oops. <laughs> ah, bless her heart. Okay, try this again. Come through and stamp these. Just like that. There we go. Much better. Now we're going to fussy cut the pot so we don't have to worry that some of those polka dots went outside the lines since we're cutting them out. All right, there we go. Bring this down here. Larry's out in the garage, so I bet Mowgli goes off here in a second. He just walked over to the door. Okay, there we go. There's the pot. Now we'll move this out of the way. And we're going to stamp our Easter Lily. Let's close this up. And we're stamping the Easter Lily in Pretty Peacock. I was very happy I kept that ink pad. Alright. I'm going to stamp him. And it's not going to matter that we're going to stamp the stem down below the pot because that's going to be hidden. All right, we'll set him aside. Now we're going to watercolor with the Wink of Stella. And just color in some of those leaves, like so. The wider leaves aren't going to show as much color as the ones that have the vein down the middle. That's okay. Gives them all a different look. And through here, and color these. Now, for the centers, I'm going to use my Daffodil Delight Stampin' Right marker and just color the centers a little bit. And it's just to give it a little bit of color. And then I'll come back through here. There we go. There. Isn't that pretty? <coughs> See, I told you he was going to bark. Mowgli. Alright, that's all we need that for. Now, we're going to add him to this with some dimensionals. Oh, here's my dimensionals. And... <laughs> Mowgli, <laughs> doesn't he have a fierce bark? <laughs> that shrill bark will take you to your knees sometimes. Mowgli, shh. You know, he's always on guard, always. All right, we'll set this down here. We're going to add more dimensionals to the back. And we'll set it on the card front, like so. Just like this, and there we go. Add some dimensionals to our pot. Set him over the stem. There. Didn't that turn out cute? I like it. Okay, so what did I do with that? Let's clean up here for a bit. This is the shopping. Okay, 
I don't know what I did with that other little, oh, here it is. I don't think my sentiment is going to fit this. I think that's why I went with another piece of paper. All right. So, do I have scotch tape here? I should have scotch tape. Nope, of course I don't have scotch tape. Oh, there I want the lid to my scissors. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to carefully um, ink this up. I don't want the I'm because the inside sentiment talks about we. So we're going to carefully ink this. Beautiful. Looks good to me. Okay. I'll stamp him right there. Photopolymers make it so easy to put your ink right where you want it. Now, we'll flag this like so. Move all of this. Get some more dimensionals. I think I'm going to put the little ones on this one. Yeah, they fit better. And these are the ones from this kit. Shh. <sighs> They're going home to mommy today. Yay! <laughs> All right, we're going to set him. Oh, wait, I don't want one on this side. All right, we'll put a mini blue dot there. And the reason I don't want to put one there is um, it'll make it wobbly. I want to make it flush on one side. Okay, there we go. Sometimes she does know what she's doing. Okay. There we go. There's that. Okay, now let's add our bow. And I'm going to make a double bow. <clears throat> Isn't this a, a beautiful combination of colors, Beth? I like the, the brown with the pretty peacock. I'm going to miss soft suede. But that's okay. <laughs> I'm all thumbs. Um... The replacement color is very pretty. Shh, shh, shh. Mowgli, stop it. I could just hear in his mind, we're all going to die. <laughs> ah, okay, let's just tie our little bow right quick. And add him with mini glue dots. Apparently, Larry doesn't listen very well. I told him, don't come in the garage while I'm filming. Oh, well. Bless his heart. Okay, there it is. All right. So we're going to add a mini glue dot on the side here to attach our bow. Okay. There's that. I'll trim these guys so they're even. Maybe. There we go. Oops, that wasn't very even, was it? Ta-da. Okay. And then there's that. Okay, and oh, what a mess I have got going on here. The bling I'm using for this card are the Festive Pearls, and I'm going to use them in the green. They go really, really well with the Pretty Peacock. Now I'll bring this one. Let's put this one here, and then we'll put another one. Come on. Let's put one up here, and I think I'm going to put one more, because I can, down here. Let's see. Let's put him down here. Ugh, I love those pearls. I'm glad they are coming back. Okay, so this guy is cut at four and a quarter by um, one half inch. I had to think about that for a second. And that was left over from the six by six piece of paper. I trimmed it down. Add him at the bottom. Make sure he's straight. Okay, the sentiment that we're using is sending all our love. So this could be a sympathy card. It could be just a thinking of you card or someone who's going through some tough times. Either way, this is one that I'd like to keep on hand, so I'll probably make a few of these. So there's the card. There's the two of them. Now let me finish up the envelope right quick. So this is not quite long enough to cover the whole flap, but that's okay. 
it's still going to have everything coordinate. And yes, we could stamp some more of those lilies on the front, but eh, I like the paper. So let's do it this way. Okay, so we'll come down here, lay this across the front, and I'll probably need to add some adhesive there, some mini glue dots so that it is secure. But you get the idea. Even if you don't have a piece that's big enough to fit the envelope flap, you can still use it. And there we are. Let's move this out of the way. Did I get it straight? Straight enough. Okay, what do you think? Didn't those turn out cute? And, oh, here's my other envelope. So there's our two cards, and that kind of gives you a look. Same card, two different colors. And the ribbon works with both, so I was happy with it. And I love those glossy dots. Glad they're staying. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending time with me. I hope you have a great day. Enjoy the sunshine if you're here in the North State with me because I think we're going to get some more rain here shortly. Um, if you'd like to shop with me, this is uh, my blog post information. I will be finishing that up with links to my online store. That's the host code to use. And again, if you are interested in subscribing to Paper Pumpkin, I'll have that link in the post as well. Oops, I've got to make sure it stays right side up. Again, thanks for stopping by. Have a great Thursday. Talk to you later. Bye.